Good morning everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Uh, this morning I'm going to do a quick video, well probably won't be that quick but uh, uh, to do the job but uh, hopefully the video will be uh, much shorter for you to watch. Um, going to do a repair job on the roof. Um, unfortunately the scaffold has managed to drop a pole onto some of the tiles so they have smashed so I'm going to show you how to replace them. So if I uh, turn the camera around then uh, show you what to are uh, dealing with. So there we are, that's the tile in question. Uh, there's also a secondary one down there, um, which is that one there. You can see the spider crack. Uh, thankfully we're at the, the top of the roof, so it should be uh, much easier to do. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty cold. Um, it's uh, just turned zero degrees. Uh, we were minus two this morning, so temperature's coming up, um, which can kind of been waiting for. Uh, as you can see, it's um, these flat uh, tiles. They're um, Amali light uh, cement fiber uh, composite tile. So it's a thin tile, a um, bit like dealing with slate uh, tiles themselves so uh, it's a slightly different technique to uh, a normal ridge tile. Um, reason we're kind of waiting until the temperature picked up a little bit is so because it's at the top uh, I'm going to lift the lead work to get to the top fixings and you don't want the um, lead to be too cold when you're trying to uh, bend it otherwise it's just going to tear. So uh equipment uh some gloves as it's freezing cold basic pair of pliers um rubber mallet i mean you can use a normal hammer just got to be a little bit more careful uh and then um we got this uh this device which is uh, a slater's ripper or a slater's slasher uh basically use this um under the flat tiles to uh essentially rip out the old uh, tacks and nails that are holding them in place. So I'll talk you through how we're going to do it and uh, show you as we are going along. So I suppose next thing is to get outside or at least lean outside and brave the, uh, the cold. Right, so you can see I've lifted the, the lead. There are your top pins or top nails. So we've got to remove those. Um, I'm going to probably see about leaving that intact, intact even, uh, which is just a fixing point to hold the um, lead in place. So these ones will have to come out and need to make sure that don't damage these couple of tiles when I take them out. And then that will then give us a bit of exposure. Well, actually, I'll need to take that one out as well. So I'll probably take these three out across the top and then uh, we can then have a look as to what we got uh, going on below may or not may or may not need to use the ripper depending how this goes so let's have a look so you notice here uh, where you've got a very tight gap so normally when you're doing your nailing down of your uh, slates you only leave um, one or two millimeter gap anyway between nail and top of tile and uh, here's where you can use your uh, slate ripper or a tiling ripper, whatever you want to call it. Um, just as a bit of leverage, so you can uh, have it in place. Just use your mallet to slightly knock it, hold it, hold the uh, ripper as flat to the tiles as you can, and then that way you can get underneath it. And then uh, once you're underneath, you can just sort of um, gently rock it backwards and forwards or side to side I should say just to slightly uh, lever up the, the nail head um, and then you can get your claw hammer underneath as normal. Alright so uh, top nails both out just sort of pop that out of the way so then you can slide out your top tile do that nice and carefully uh, move it over there for the time being and then you can see the, the damage that's 
to the one underneath. Um, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to take that tile out as well, and then we can get this one out and replace that one. Um, and then same on this one as well, so this is cracked. So yeah, we will need to take this top couple out. But uh, anyway, it's just a case of repeating the process. And here you can see the, uh, the fixing that I was saying to you about. So um, yeah, you can slide that out or wait to get the tile out. In this case, it's gonna have to be waiting to get it out because that's uh, been smashed down so hard it's uh, compacted it down. But um, anyway, uh, digressing a little bit, pull your finger out in and uh, carry on working. All right, first course of uh, top tiles now off. So you see we've done all that section, exposing these two damaged tiles. Got to take this one off as well, so then I'll be able to get that damaged tile out. Um, and uh, you can see that these pins are uh, still nice and tight, so they need to come out. Um, one thing I, I didn't mention, which I probably should have, when you're trying to take out any nails, rather than levering across the edge, you want to leave it in towards the middle, running across the, the root of the, uh, the tile batten. Um, that way you're not going to damage the tile. If you try and lever this way, across the edge of the tile, because you're on a um, small area, uh, especially when you get to your outer tile, um, you've got a, a bigger chance of cracking the tile itself. So yeah, make sure you're going towards the centre, levering towards the centre and uh, across the uh, uh, the angle of the timber work. So um, that said, I need to carry on. Alright, so here we are. Let's lean out a little bit. So, just because um, these are only copper, they end up nice and easy. Um, if you're doing it uh, from below and you're using your ripper, obviously you can snap them. So that is one damaged tile. You can see that obviously the pin's been impinged and as suspected, this tile below has also been broken. So we'll get that out. This is sorted as well. Let's try and switch hands to show you. Now I know why there's uh, not many people doing videos of a roof because it's quite uh, difficult to hold a phone whilst taking a roof apart. There you are. This one's totally destroyed and you can see that this one's totally destroyed as well so that needs to come off as well as does this one so uh, yeah a little bit more to do than uh, well had hoped it would be less to do but uh, suspected it would be like this so I need to carry on okay so uh, that was the other one that um, wasn't obvious, uh, well, wasn't obviously smashed like the others, but I could see there was that spider um, break in it, and so uh, that's the damaged tiles all out. And now uh, you can see actually these are uh, those little copper clips. Um, so uh, take the old ones out and then. Uh, Get the new ones in position and then um, all set to nail down the new ones. Um, all I'll do now is uh, actually as I've exposed this I'll just give this a little bit of a sweep up, clear away a little bit of moss and then uh, yeah get cracking, get it finished. Okay so it's all nice and cleaned out. Uh, I've got replacement tiles up here already. I've uh, got a couple of new 
cup of parsnas. So the easiest way is, he says, is to slide them up. Obviously it's harder one-handed. All right, I'm back with you. A bit of messing around. So then just uh, slide them up to roughly where it needs to go. Uh, I'll do the same on the other side and then uh, come back to you on the tails. Right, so you can see, put the pin in. Got the side one in, not that you really need that. Um, it's always gonna be easier working from up on the roof, but I've, oh, it went on first time. Otherwise it's a bit like hoopla. And then gradually maneuver so you get your roof tile level uh, with the others. Um, I'll do the same with the other one, and then uh, you know that your bottom ones are secure, and uh, then we can start renailing and uh, setting things out as they should be. All right, you can see we've got those two tiles in. Um, level with the, the base of the uh, existing tiles. Put the copper pins in roughly for the sides. Obviously the ends have got theirs in. Um, what you can do if you're working upwards, obviously I'm doing this out of a window, so I'm kind of working upside down, but ordinarily to get those in position. If you start them at the base, then you can use your um, slate uh, ripper, uh, slate puller tool and then you can just use the end of it to nudge it up um, as it's uh, much easier that way um, but uh, yeah so now what we need to do use your hammer and just tamper down the ends just to bend them over uh, to get the fixing on the very end and then we can work up and carry on so that's the bottom's ham hammered over um, now I need to get your replacement uh, clout nails in so that you're always using your aluminium uh, clout nails just hold it in place um, so we'll get those knocked in uh, yeah like so so you just want to leave a little gap um, I could probably knock that down as much more but uh, yeah we'll get these knocked in and um, carry on first run back in on to the next. So, just to try and show you. So, uh, hanging upside down as we do. So, we just, you can just use your normal ripper just to slide it up to your desired position. Just kind of there. Um, and Make sure you put your hand down on the other on the other tiles, then pull it out, and that's how you'd use your slate ripper from uh, what would normally be the correct way of the uh, roof. So working that from um, bottom upwards. Okay, that's on. So now we just literally need to get the header course on, and uh, um, yeah, header course on, and then uh, we can tidy up. The only thing to say when you're doing your head of course, uh, don't forget you don't have to put uh, any of these pins in. Um, you're just literally using that pin to anchor the front down and then we'll be finishing up just by nailing uh, and then the lead taps down uh, or tampers down over the top. So um, yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. So it makes this top uh, head of course much quicker. All right, head of course done. Now I just need to obviously get your lead work back down. So do that. Just you want to make sure it's obviously back where it should be. And then get your top fixings. Back in place. Let's give it a little 
tamper down. So obviously you want to make sure that all the water is going to nicely cascade off. Um, it's just going to be that far in or that end, so help in hand. Make sure this is back. Well, that concludes the uh, the video. Uh, replace the damaged tiles. It's all back as it should be. Lead work in place. Uh, uh, strangely enough, the one tool that uh, kind of thought I'd be able to demonstrate a bit better uh, didn't actually need to use, but uh, that's always the way. Anyway, just got to tidy up a little bit. But um, anyway, if uh, yeah, hopefully you've found the video of use. Um, if you have, then fantastic. Yeah, um, hopefully it uh, serves you well. Uh, yeah, if you've got any uh, questions, please give me a, a message. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be doing your roof on a better day than I'm doing it today. So uh, yeah, take care, and I'll see you all soon.